Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled Faith and Works. And it is taken from the book of James, chapter 2, verses 14 through 26. What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have good works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warm, and be filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that God is one. You do well. Even the demons believe and shudder. Do you want to be shown, you foolish person, that faith apart from works is useless? Was not Abraham our father? justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar. You see that faith was active along with his works, and faith was completed by his works. And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And he was called a friend of God. You see that a person is justified by works, and not by faith alone. And in the same way was not also Rahab, the prostitute, justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out by another way. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, so also faith apart from works is dead. In chapter 1, verse one, James begins his epistle with the words, James, servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. He was the apostle James, Jesus' own brother, the one who doubted while Jesus lived, but was convinced when Jesus showed himself after the resurrection. Then James became one of the leaders in the ancient church in Jerusalem until he, like so many others, was martyred. In James' letter, we could see what a pious and obedient Jew learned from Jesus. James thinks that good deeds are very important, but he also knows that they have to be performed from the heart. He warns repeatedly against a Christianity that only consists of words or opinions, a warning that we all need. Here in chapter 2, he especially warns us about a misunderstanding of the gospel that some people can easily fall prey to. They hear the words, faith alone, through faith alone. And when they hear that, they think that deeds are not that important. James' answer to that is, a faith without works is dead. For a living faith always includes good works. A body that doesn't move and function is dead. Therefore, a faith that doesn't show itself through good deeds is just as dead. Or as Paul expressed it, everything is dependent on whether we have a faith that is active through love. Now, there are, of course, extreme situations where a believer can't do any good works. That's the way it was for the thief on the cross. And that's the way it can also be for people who come to faith on their deathbed. That's when we see that faith alone can give us eternal bliss. It gives us a part of Christ, and then we have everything that we need. 
The simple fact that faith is fellowship with Christ means that you can't have it without wanting to do good works. You know, a healthy tree bears good fruit. This also applies to the words that we use. Empty, thoughtless, selfless, and malicious words bear witness that there is no faith in the heart. Even pious words can have the same effect if they're not followed by deeds of love. The mouth expresses what the heart is full of. Even deeds speak that language. You can't pick figs from thistles, but the branch that is engrafted in Christ bears good fruit. So if Christ lives in your heart, then it's noticeable to the people around you in both word and deed. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to believe correctly so we can live correctly. Regarding our faith, help us so we can see only you and not the things that we do. Regarding our works, help us to see both you and everyone who you want us to do something for. Help us to have an eye for you and see you everywhere among people. Then it will be so much easier for us to do what you want us to do. We can't do anything without you. So remain with us, O oh Lord Jesus. In your holy name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.